So we now know the governor's vision to balance the state's finances, but a lot of his plan will depend on key votes in the General Assembly. And many of your local lawmakers are sharing their thoughts on that proposal. That includes Republican State Senator Jason Berrickman, who yesterday said we should learn from, not repeat our mistakes. Today, I reached out to him and asked what about the proposal concerns him most. Well, look, at a, at a broad level, this budget relies on taxing, spending more money, borrowing, skipping pension payments. These are, these are chapters from the playbooks we've seen in the past. And I think we need to learn, learn the lesson that we, we can live and should live within our means. Most concerning, when you, when you pick that apart, Governor Pritzker proposes to short our annual pension payment. We all know that we've got a massive unfunded pension liability, and what Governor Pritzker proposes to do will simply aggravate that problem and push it off to the future. Again, key components of that proposal are based on revenue streams that aren't legal yet. For instance, in order to tax marijuana and sports betting, lawmakers must first legalize that. Not to mention a constitutional amendment is needed for Pritzker's fair income tax. So I asked Berrickman, which of these, if any, does he foresee becoming law in Illinois? Well, I think in the short term, over the next year, you could see sports betting. You're likely to see cannabis being legalized. I think the graduated income tax has a lot, much longer and difficult road ahead. But the bottom line is that Governor Pritzker is banking these revenues now, even though these programs aren't the law. There's a lot of details that need to be worked out to any of these programs before Illinois would see any revenue from them. And I think Governor Pritzker is getting a little bit of the cart before the horse. And, you know, those are, those are the tricks that have gotten our state in trouble. We can't count on revenues that don't exist. When we do that, we spend money that sometimes never comes in. And that's what's created a lot of the financial pressure that exists in our state. And lastly, I asked him what specific ideas would he have liked to hear in Pritzker's proposal? Well, we all know we've spent years talking about the crushing property taxes that are uh, moving people and businesses out of our state. We need to do more to address the, the, these skyrocketing property taxes and property tax rates. Governor Pritzker did little to address that reality. And so I think as legislators, we need to focus our attention more on providing property tax relief and addressing the fact that people are voting with their feet. They're choosing to move out of this state for a whole host of reasons, which include their skyrocketing uh, property taxes that they pay here in Illinois. Of course, I'm reaching out to Democratic lawmakers as well. Democratic State Senator Dave Kaler said that he thinks the budget is an important marker for what it's going to take to return the state budget to what it should be. He mentioned things like pension reform and more money for education. Now, he still has questions about how it will impact Central Illinois, but Kaler says he's confident this new administration will work with our local lawmakers and not against them.